Yeah, okay, Dad? Dad? Oh, sure, who are you writing to? New York. You know what I'm gonna do with this letter? I'm gonna get in showbiz. Showbiz, huh? Yeah, you and Mom are sure gonna be proud of me, I bet. Here, you can read all about it in this ad. I gotta go mail the letter. Big money in showbiz. Have your own flea circus. Send 50 cents in stamps for training booklet and 12 live fleas. Yes! Yes! Dennis Mitchell, how could you do this to poor little Pamela? I didn't mean to hurt your old doll, Margaret. I saw her just sitting out in your yard all by herself, so I decided to make her famous. Make her famous? Sure, if my rocket had worked, she'd have been the first doll to reach the moon. <laughs> you said my darling child up in a rocket? Just a little one that was left over from the 4th of July. I tied her to the stick and lit the fuse, but it never got off the ground. I'll fix you for this, Dennis. I'll tell your mother that's what I'll do. Please don't blab, Margaret. If you don't, I'll give you one of my frogs, the prettiest one. I don't want your disgusting old frog. But there is something you could do. Yeah? What? I'll do it. I have to go for my dancing lesson now, but I'll be back in an hour. I won't tell your mom if you promise to come over and play house with me for the rest of the day. Jesus, I hate playing house. I'll be the mother and you'll be the father. And you can help me bathe and dress all our precious children. Wash your dolls, do I have to? Unless you want me to tell. Okay, I guess I have to. <laughs> now wheel the children home. You fathers need a lot of practice. Boy, I wish somebody would send me to the moon in a rocket. <laughs> Come over here, dear. I want you to see something. Isn't that cute? He's beginning to take an interest in girls. Well, it's finally official. Our son's growing up. It happens so suddenly, doesn't it? Yeah. One day they're throwing rocks at little girls, and the next day they're throwing kisses. You never threw rocks at me. I was smarter than most kids. <laughs> I'm glad his attitude about girls is changing. I'm not upset about that. Why should you be upset? Well, it just means we're getting a little older. Well, I don't feel any older. Do you? Now that you mention it, no. <laughs> I appreciate the thought behind it, Uncle Ned. But you don't have to do it. But I want to do it, Martha. Until George settles that estate back east, I'm the man of this house. Of course you are. Hmm. Poor George was so upset last year when Mrs. Hawkins won and got her picture in the Garden Club Journal. Mrs. Hawkins, I give up. How does anything as sweet as a flower manage to grow around a sour old woman like her? <laughs> huh? Well, you just leave everything to me. Good morning, Mr. Matthews. Oh, good morning, Mrs. Hawkins. Are uh, you planning to do a little gardening? In my nephew's absence, I am taking his place in the early John Quill contest. Oh. Yes. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Afraid my competition will be too much for you, eh? No, <laughs> no, not at all. But it does seem a bit unfair that I should triumph over two members of the same family. <laughs> you seem very confident, Mrs. Hawkins. Well, I have reason to be. For one thing, my bulbs are already planted. What? But this is the opening day of the contest. This is the morning of the opening day. What you're forgetting is that a day begins at midnight. Do you mean to say that you were out at midnight planting bulbs? Exactly. <laughs> and I am entirely within the rules. Mm. Well, let me tell you something. The contest isn't over yet. And the prize goes to the ones whose John Quills bloom first. Mm. Yes. As I remember, that's the same boast dear Mr. Wilson made a year ago. <laughs> 
Now you're putting your foot in your mouth, too. Is that so? I'll put my foot in my mouth any time I want to. Mm. Well, there's obviously room for it. Yes. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Matthews. That old catawampus. <laughs> I'll show her. Oh. Oh. My sacroiliac. Arthur! Help! You can't do this to me. It'll ruin my life. I'll leave town. I'll just be a wanderer in the faraway places. Africa, China, Minnesota. That suits me just fine. And you can take that sultry redhead with you. Helen, wait. Don't go. Give me another chance. Oh, stop whining, Jerry. I've had it. Hi, Jerry. Want a lick? No. Boy, Helen sure took off in a hurry. Did she sit on a bee? No, she didn't sit on a bee. Stop asking dumb questions. Okay, Jerry, I'd stop. I'm sorry, Dennis. I shouldn't take it out on you just because I'm a broken man. You don't look broken. What's busted? What's inside where it doesn't show. Helen's left me. She says she never wants to see me again. Boy, I wish that dumb old Margaret would say that to me. <laughs> Why did Helen get mad at you? Oh, she got mad just because I was talking to the girl that works down at the ice cream parlor. The ice cream parlor? Boy, that's the kind of girl I'd like to have. I was just over there, and I could have got this free if I'd have had a... Why don't you run along, Dennis? <laughs> a fellow likes to be alone when he's suffering. Are you suffering much, Jerry? Life just isn't worth living. All that's left for me is to get on a ship and sail to the South Sea Islands. If you go to the South Seas, will you write to me? Would you really like to hear from me? Yeah, I'm starting a stamp collection, and I sure could use some from the South Seas. So long, Dennis. So long, Jerry. <laughs> How does it feel now, Uncle Ned? As though I'd been stabbed in the spine with a hot corkscrew. <laughs> Terribly sorry. I'll never plant those bulbs now. That nasty Mrs. Hawkins will beat us again. Her job goals will bloom first. It is a shame. She'll have her picture in the club magazine, standing there with a silly smile, holding up her early bloomers. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's funny about that? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking of something else. <laughs> Never mind, Uncle Ned. I'll try to find time to plant those bulbs myself. You do nothing of the kind. I'm not going to have two of us around here with sprained backs. Hi, Mrs. Wilson. How's... Hi, dear. Boy, when you want your back scratched, you really get it scratched. Uncle Ned sprained his back, dear. Will you stay with him? I want to get a hot water bottle. Does it hurt much, Uncle oh. Ned? Dennis, I am completely miserable. I bet you're not as completely miserable as Jerry Simmons is. He's completely, completely miserable. I am not interested in anybody's misery but my own. You know Jerry. He's the one that was kicking the football for me yesterday. He got in a fight with Helen Franklin, and he feels awful. I tell you, I am not interested... Kicking a football? That Jerry fellow, is that the boy with all the muscles? Yes, sir. Jerry's real strong. I wonder... Dennis, would you do me a favor? Sure, Uncle Ned. See if you can get Jerry to come over here, will you? I might be able to help him. And he might be able to help me. Okay. See you later, Uncle Ned. Oh, I was very much concerned when Dennis told me about the uh, rift in your romance. I know how painful a thing like that can be. Yeah, like I'm all busted up. So I said to myself, I must do all I can to bind this young man's wounds. I must find a way to help make him forget. Well, that's awfully nice of you, Mr. Matthews, but it's no use. There's nothing that'll make me forget. Oh, yes, there is, Jerry. Hard work. Hard work? Physical labor. You must devote yourself to toil. Keep your body so active that your mind won't be able to think. Oh, I urge you to try it. Well, what kind of work? Well, I could hardly... Uh, yes. 
I have a strip of ground running along the fence there, you see. I'd like to have that all dug up into a flower bed, you know, some beautiful bulbs planted into it. But, you know, I... Yes, yes, I'd be willing to let you do it. Well, that's awfully nice of you, but I... And what's more, I'll even pay you 50 cents an hour. No, oh, no, 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 please, I insist. <laughs> it would be worth it to know that I've helped mend a broken heart. Okay, I'll try it. <laughs> Jerry, you've made a wise decision. <laughs> I'll show you where I want you to start. Yes, <laughs> follow me. <laughs> now... There's the spade, Jerry, and this is the section all along here. So dig right in and you'll soon find blessed relief. <laughs> Don't hold back, Jerry. Remember, the faster and the harder you work, the sooner your mind will be at rest. <laughs> Hi, Jerry. Want a cookie? No, thanks, Dennis. I'm too busy. Boy, Mrs. Wilson sure does make good cookies. I could eat a dozen of them. How many have you eaten already? Oh, about a dozen. Uh, is Jerry gonna plant the bulbs for you? He is, Dennis, yes. How much are you paying him? Fifty cents an hour. Isn't that kind of cheap, Uncle Ned? Dennis, Jerry was very grateful for the opportunity. I pointed out that the work could make him forget all about Helen. You're a real kind man, Uncle Ned. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> and I want to thank you for bringing him over. It was a big help. You're welcome, Uncle Ned. Uh-oh. Now I'm gonna need help. <laughs> Hi, Dennis. You better go on home, Margaret. You catch cold running around in your underwear. <laughs> this is what we wear at dancing school, silly. You're so hopeless about the finer things. Now come along, I'll change my clothes and we'll start playing house. Gee, I can't play house with you, Margaret. Uncle Ned needs me here. Don't you, Uncle Ned? Well, I... Oh! Oh, yes, yes, yes. I, I need him here, Margaret. Yeah. Me and Jerry and Uncle Ned are planning a lot of stuff in the yard. But you promised to play house with me, Dennis. Won't you let him go, Uncle Ned? Oh, I'm sorry, Margaret. I can't spare him today. Yeah, and I can't go if Uncle Ned says I can, because he's a grown-up. All right, Dennis, but I'll be back. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Uncle Ned. Glad to do it. You helped me, and I helped you. Us men have to stick together, don't we? <laughs> so right. <laughs> Terry, you've just got to work harder. Concentrate on the flower bed. Make your mind a perfect blank. At your age, that shouldn't be difficult. <laughs> I'll try, Mr. Matthews. But I just can't forget Helen. This is fun, Terry. I like to watch you work. Be my guest, Dennis. Sure is better than playing house with that dumb old Margaret. All she wants to do is fool around with a bunch of old dolls. Jerry, you've stopped again. I'm sorry, Mr. Matthews. What Dennis said reminded me of Helen. She's a living doll. <laughs> well, really, if everything's going to remind you of Helen, you're never going to forget her, and I'll never get the balls planted, so concentrate. Yes, sir. And Dennis, if you must talk, please don't say anything to remind him of his lost love. Okay, Uncle Ned. I'll help you forget too, Jerry. As soon as you finish working for Uncle Ned, we can go over in the park and fly my kite. I got a new one. Now what? Did something else remind you of Helen? Yeah, the kite. Kite? <laughs> Her last name is Franklin. You know Ben Franklin? He's the guy that... I know all about him, but I never had any idea that he was going to foul me up. I'm sorry, Mr. Matthews. All right, all right. Well, I think we may as well give this whole thing up. It's no use. We're so far behind now in the competition that we'll, we'll never win the contest. And I certainly have tried. Mr. Matthews! Here's the beast you sent to destroy my jumbo bulbs. Why, that's a little free, Mark. What are you talking about? Don't you act innocent with me. This animal dug up every one of my bulbs and scattered them all over the yard. You see the mud on his paws? I caught him red-handed. But I'll beat you yet. Here, take this, this, this trained bulb snatcher. Man's best friend. Oh, wonderful. Jerry, we're not trailing in the competition at all. We're going to start even with Mrs. Hawkins. We've got to get those bulbs in the ground right away. 
My little boy. I'd sure like to help you, sir, but it's just no use. All I can think of is that I've lost my girl. How can I work? Could you work if you had your girl back? Boy, could I. If I had Helen right here beside me, I'd work my brains out. Uncle Ned, huh? maybe if you and me go talk to Helen, we could get her to make up with Jerry and... Why, that's a brilliant idea, and I have great powers of persuasion. Yes, I see no reason at all why I could... <laughs> so I'll eat this on the way to Helen's house and eat twice as much for dinner, okay? Well, if it's that important to you, all right. Oh, it is important. We've got to get those bulbs planted so Mr. Wilson can win. Do you think you and Uncle Ned can talk Helen into seeing it your way? Sure. We'll get her to make up with Jerry, because she's a real nice girl. Girls can be nice, you know. <laughs> Glad you're discovering that. Good luck. Bye now. <laughs> He's really made that big discovery. Girls can be nice, he says. That was obvious this morning when he was so attentive to Margaret. He usually runs from her. Well, I'm glad to see it. Poor little Margaret's been chasing him so hard for so long. She really deserves a little kindness. <laughs> I stand before you, dear child, asking, nay, imploring you to give this deserving boy another chance. I don't know, Mr. Matthews. Oh, now, now, please. Why not think of me as kindly old Uncle Ned? Jerry <laughs> feels awful, Helen. He'll never get that flower bed dug up if you don't. I'll do the talking, Dennis. <laughs> the flower bed. It's not important. It isn't. But I thought you said if Jerry didn't plant those... Never mind. I'm interested here only in the happiness of two very fine young people. Is he really broken up about it? I mean, really? Boy, you ought to see him. He looks sick. He should look sick. <laughs> Nothing brings greater happiness than true love. The tender passion that he wants that dizzy world Maybell, around. he can have her. Heck, he doesn't yeah, like her. He can't stand her. Smoothly, my dear. He can't? Off time. Well, are are you sure? He told me so himself. So he I just goes in there for hot fudge. That's all. Forget. Jesus, Remember life is just nothing without you. It slippeth oh, as a gentle rain geez, from the poor guy. So banish I guess all I was pretty your mean to him. And give Jerry another chance. I'll go see him right now and tell him I'm sorry. Good, Ellen. Good. I knew you'd see it my way. Your way? Yes, of course. I was just suggesting. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Matthews. I wasn't listening. Come on, Dennis. I'll reach you over here. <laughs> Oh, I tell you, Dennis, we've done it again. Look at that boy work. Yeah, he'll get your bulb planted real fast, I bet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Dennis, why don't you run back to the garage and get the bulbs, will you? They're in a large square. Sure, I know where Mrs. Wilson keeps them. Good, good. Helen, look out for that flying dirt. Come and sit here and keep out of the way. <laughs> oh, don't worry, I won't get any dirt on her. You stay right here where I can see you every minute, honey. Fine, that's fine. Now that we've got that settled, let's get the digging finished. Yes, sir. Good. Oh, it's no use, Mr. Matthews. I'm going to knock it off for the day. I'm so happy, I feel like dancing. How can you knock it off for the day? This has got to be finished right now. What is this? Stop it. Yeah, help it, help it, help it. Yeah. Attention. Are you two young folks are planning to be married? Yes, sir. Right. Hmm? All right. As soon as this young man starts earning money, the sooner you can afford to get married. Now he's right, honey. I gotta get real busy. Hmm. Yes. Now, as soon as you finish this strip here, well, then you can start in putting in the bulbs. Get <laughs> out Oh! Thank you, Dennis. Thank you. Now, you're right, Mr. Matthews, about me needing more money. So as soon as I finish here, I gotta get myself a real job. What? Hey, I know where you can find a job, Jerry. They were putting up a sign when I was there this morning. A dollar and a quarter an hour, it says. A dollar and a quarter an hour? Jerry, that's wonderful! Where is it, Dennis? At the ice cream parlor. Well, I better get down there before somebody else grabs it. Come on, honey. The ice cream parlor? Oh, you're not gonna start that again. Start what? I just wanna get the jobs when we get married. You don't have to work there. You just wanna be there so you can be with that fat Maybell. I do not. I just wanna get the jobs. You job. don't fool me, Jerry Simmons. Go on, go ahead. You can spend the rest of your life with her for all I care, because our marriage is off. Well, all right. That suits me just fine. Goodbye. 
If you're going to the South Seas, don't forget to ride. <laughs> well, well, well. What am I going to do now? Maybe I could plant those bulbs for you if you show me how. Oh, thank you, Dennis. That's very kind of you, but... No, I don't believe you could do it. This is a very particular job. I'll plant those bulbs for you, Mr. Matthews. I owe it to you. It's partly my fault that Jerry didn't get it done. I sort of drove him away. Well, do you know how to do it? Oh, yes, sir. I like planting things. Yes. I plant our vegetable garden every year. Really? Well, Helen, I accept your offer. And remember this. Hard work will make you forget all about him. Now, you make the holes about that deep, you see, about that far apart, put a bulb in each hole, and then cover them all over with dirt. Yes, yes now, sir, that's easy. Yeah, here, here, here's the trowel. Oh, oh, my back, my back. I think I, I'd better go in and lie down. Yes, I'll sir. go with you, Uncle Ned. I'll help Mrs. Wilson rub it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You know, Dennis, my back, it feels so much better. Me and Mrs. Wilson are good rubbers, all right. <laughs> Mr. Matthews, I'm all through. Oh. Oh, Helen, that is fine. That's just the way it ought to be. I certainly do appreciate that. Hey, look who's coming back. <laughs> Helen, honey. Jerry, you came back. Well, I couldn't live with you mad at me, and I'm not going to take that job with the ice cream parlor. I'll find something else. Oh, I'm glad. Come on, let's go for a walk. Oh, wait, I forgot one, Mr. Matthews. Oh, well, now, Helen, that's all right. It's okay. Don't worry about it at all. Might as well finish it right. I can't wait to see these blooms. <laughs> here, here, what are you doing? No, 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 Helen, you're planning to get upside down. Upside down? Yes. This is the root here, isn't it? I mean, this end goes down. No, I don't know. This is the top of the bulb there, the root there. See, there it is right there. You plant it that way. Why? You didn't? Yes, sir. I planted them all that way. 120 of them. Now they'll never come up. Come to think of it, my onion sets never came up either. Come on, honey. I think we better go for a walk. Now Mrs. Hawkins will win again this year. Oh, of all the unfortunate. I'm sorry about the flowers, Uncle Ned, but this day hasn't been all bad. What do you mean? Turned out swell for me. I didn't have to play house with that dumb old Margaret. <laughs> well, see you tomorrow. <laughs> One hundred and twenty. <laughs> Fremont! Fremont! Here, boy! Here, boy! Oh, that's my little Fremont. That's my little boy. Now, you listen to me. Bulbs. John, please. Go get them, the way you did this morning. One block down the street, to the left, the second house. Big flower bed. Dig them up. Dig them up. Dig them up. Dig them up. Go! Oh! Oh! <laughs> surprise for you. Yes, since you've been such a good boy all day, Mom invited one of your best friends over for dinner. And you can stay up till 9 o'clock and watch television. Go on in the living room. Oh, boy! Swap! Tommy, hey, Tommy, where are you? It's not Tommy, it's me, Dennis. And I brought our baby to spend the evening with us. <laughs> Margaret. Oh, good gravy. <laughs>
This has been a Screen Gems film production from the Hollywood studios of Columbia Pictures.